Civil education, according to the United Nations, means pupils with special needs spending part or the entire hours in school with their peers without any form of disabilities in the mainstream schools. However, the Ghana Education Service continues to segregate pupils with special needs in either special schools or inclusive units in mainstream schools. A report by Zubeida Ismail. This is the Yumba Special School, the only school for children with intellectual disabilities in the northern, upper east, and upper west regions. It was initially incorporated in Our Lady of Fatima in Sakasaka in Tamale in the late 90s where a unit was allocated for pupils. The Barclays Bank Ghana in 2003 constructed a three-classroom block and a staff common room at its current location at Wamali. More infrastructure was provided through Get Fund to complement the existing structures. Our first visit coincided with the school's sports day. Ready, go. 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 Come on. Come on. Our next stop was the Dakimas cluster of schools where we gathered. The Ghana Education Service was operating an inclusive educational system. However, students with intellectual disabilities had been segregated, a system which defies the sustainable development goal on inclusive education. All 11 students with intellectual disabilities had been placed in the same class despite their levels of engagement and age difference. We gather this class has only one teacher, but usually supported by a volunteer. 30, 31, 32, 33. The UN's Convention on Inclusive Education defines inclusive education to be a system where special children are put in the mainstream in the same class with children without special needs. And so today we ask whether what we see here at the Dakema Basic School can be classified as inclusive education. In the class four of the same school is Zakaria Al Hassan. However, 12 years Al Hassan, though intellectually disabled, has defied the educational authorities. He prefers to be with his peers and has progressed from basic one to four. His difficulty in reading from his textbooks due to his condition was evident. The Sustainable Development Goal 4 focuses on eliminating disparities and ensuring equal access to all levels of education and vocational training. We don't want to uh, sort of put them in the system and then they are formally evaluated, examined, and then there's some sort of promotion for them. No, just to keep them in the school, socialize them. Uh, they learn uh, a few uh, uh, livelihood skills, and it is okay for them to make a living, but not actually to put them in the system. They come out for uh, employment. The Tamale Metropolitan Director of Education, Johnson Kobana Asari, noted special schools for pupils with intellectual disabilities are fashioned out to promote their safety. These children are seen as spirit children. The recognition and attention that is given to the rest of the children, the same is not extended to uh, uh, these children. So uh, they feel despised and uh, to the extent that sometimes when the, the parents see that there's a vista coming, we tend, we do, they go to hide. Teachers do it in a very a diplomatic way. He insists special education in teacher training institutions, though compulsory, must be enforced if the country wants to make a headway. Before Ghana be, be sanctioned, there should be a study of the situation. Is it deliberate? Is it lack of facility that we are not uh, putting them in the mainstream? What are the challenges? Do we have the capacity to mainstream all, all of them? If not, then uh, probably we may need some technical advice. He advocated intensive education on the right of children with disabilities to serve as a catalyst in ensuring equity. Zubaida Esmael, TV3 News, Taman.